right, so this is um, Science Paper 2, 2023 GCE. So basically I'm going to answer question B6, which is coming from more concept, okay? So, the first question is question A saying, define the term more. Define the term more. One mark. So, in physics you have read that, or in chemistry, whether in physics or chemistry, you have read that the amount of substance is measured nowhere in moles. So I'm going to say a mole is just the what? The unit for the amount of substance. So I'm going to say a mole. A mole is, is the what? Is the unit for the amount of substance. For the amount of substance. So the amount of substance is measured in moles. Okay. So a mole is the unit for the amount of substance. That's all. So this one is what? Question B six A. Okay. Let us for question B. Let's see. So as for question B is saying, the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution is. So let me also try to break data here. Okay, so our data, so concentration, it is represented by what? C. Concentration, it is represented by what? C. So in this case here, I'm going to say the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution is what? 0 0.25 moles or more per decimeter is what? Cubed. That is what? Concentration. So the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution is uh, 0 0.25 mole per decimeters cubed. Calculate the number of moles of 0 0.25 mole per decimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide solution contained in a uh, 250 centimeters cube of this solution. So in this case here, this 250 centimeters cube is the volume. Okay, so I'm going to say volume is equal to 250 centimeters cubed. Then from there now, they are asking us to calculate the what? The number of moles. So I'm going to say the number of moles here we don't have. Okay. Now, mind you, on this part here, the volume should be where? In decimeters what? Cubed. The volume should be in decimeters what? Cubed. So what I'm going to do here, let me try to convert this one here into what? Decimeters what? Cubed. I want to convert centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed. So I'm going to say 1 decimeters cubed is equivalent or equal to what? 1000 centimeters cubed. So if I want to convert this one, this 250 centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed, I'm just going to take this one and divide by what? 1000. So I'm going to say 250 centimeters cubed divided by 1000 centimeters what cubed. So here we are looking for the what? For the volume. So outside the brackets, I'm going to put what? Decimeters cubed. So centimeter and centimeter, they are going to cancel each other. Okay. So when I say 250 divided by 1000, I'm going to get what? The volume to be what? 0 0.25 decimeters what? Cubed. So this is our volume that we are going to use during our calculation. Okay. So now we know that concentration is equal to what? Number of moles over what? Volume. Concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. So which means here we are calculating for what? The number of moles. So let me make the number of moles the subject of the formula. So which means on this part here I'm going to cross multiply. So one multiply by n, I'm going to get what? n is equal to c multiply by v, I'm going to get what? c multiply by what? v, like this. So now, we have the concentration here which is what? 0 0.25 v more per decimeters cubed. When you are doing the calculation, don't forget to put what units. So I'm going to say number of moles is equal to 0 
five more per decimeters what cubed. Multiply by volume, which is zero point, which is this one. So it is what zero point two five decimeters what cubed. Then from there now, I'm going to cross what multiplication. So on this part, I'm going to cross my prime. 0 0.25 more per decimeter cubed multiplied by 0 0.5 decimeters cubed. So decimeters cubed and decimeters cubed, they are going to cancel each other. So when I cross my prime, I'm going to get 0 0.0625 moles. Remember, the number of moles or the amount of substance is measured in where? In moles. So this is what this one is our, team, our final answer. Okay. So let's move on to the next one, which is um question. So question C is saying iron metal is extracted from an iron ore called ametite in a blast furnace during reduction during reduction reaction using carbon monoxide gas. So let me repeat. Iron metal is extracted from an iron an iron ore called ametite in a blast furnace during reduction reaction using carbon monoxide gas as a reducing agent as shown in the following chemical equation. So the first thing here you need to analyze if the equation is balanced. Okay. So here we are having two atoms of iron then three moles of iron. So here we are having three plus this one here which is three. So here we are having Three at, uh, six atoms of oxygen, three multiplied by two, even here we are having what? Six atoms of what? Oxygen. Then here we are having three, at, three moles of carbon, even here three moles of what? Carbon. So this equation is balanced. Okay, so remedy the question. So the question is saying um, calculate the mass of carbon monoxide required. Then the carbon monoxide gas required to reduce 3,200 kgs of iron 3 oxide in the blast furnace. So I'm going to first, I'm going to find um, the molar mass of this iron 3 oxide and also the molar mass of carbon monoxide using a balanced equation. So let me try to find the molar mass of iron 3 oxide. So here we are having three atoms of oxygen multiplied by the mass number. Even here we are having two atoms of iron multiplied by the mass number, which is 56. Okay. So when I multiply here, I'm going to get what? I'm going to get 48. Then on this part here, I'm going to get what? 112. Okay. So when I add this, this one, I'm going to get what? Zero. So when I add, I'm going to get what? 160 grams per mole. Okay. So 160 grams per what? Per mole is the molar mass of iron 3 oxide. Let me also find the molar mass of carbon monoxide using a balanced equation. So I'm going to say this 3 is part of carbon and also this 3 is part of what? Oxygen. So I'm going to say 3 moles of oxygen multiplied by 16, I'm going to get what? 48. Then 3 moles of carbon multiplied by what? 12. I'm going to get what? So 12 multiplied by 3. I'm going to get 36. So when I add 36 plus 84, I'm going to get what? Let me see. Yes, 46. 48 plus uh, 36. I'm going to get 84 grams per more. So this 84, not 86, but 84. This 84 grams per mole is the molar mass of carbon monoxide. So what I'm going to do here, since they are saying, calculate the mass of carbon monoxide gas required to reduce 3,200 kgs of iron 3 oxide. So this one is the mass of what? Iron 3 oxide. So I'm going to say, for me to calculate the mass of carbon monoxide, I'm going to say 3,200 kgs, which is the mass of what? 
ion 3 oxide is going to produce the molar mass of what? 1 CGST grams per mole of what? Ion 3 oxide. Okay. Now, since here they are asking us to calculate what? The mass of um, carbon monoxide. So, I'm going to say, since here this one is the mass of ion 3 oxide. So, I'm going to say the mass of carbon monoxide which we don't know is going to produce the what the molar mass of who? carbon monoxide which is what 84 grams per what per mole of who? carbon monoxide okay i hope on this part here you have gotten my point so the mass of ion 3 oxide is going to produce the molar mass of what 160 grams per mole of ion 3 oxide now, what about the mass of carbon monoxide that we don't know? It is going to produce what? The molar mass of uh, 84 grams per mole of carbon monoxide. Then from there now, I'm going to cross multiply. So, M multiplied by 160, and remember to cancel. These, they are going to cancel each other. These, they are going to cancel each other. So, M multiplied by 160, I'm going to get... 160 m is equal to um, 84 multiplied by 3200. Then the answer is going to be what? Um, 20, let me say 268,000 kgs. Then from there now, I'm going to divide this one by what? By 160 even here by what 160 so from there now 160 and 160 they are going to cancel each other so 160 and 160 they are going to cancel each other then from there now i'm going to say i'm going to remain with m here so m is equal to 268,000 divided by 160 i'm going to get what 1600 and what 80 kgs. So this one is the mass of what? Carbon monoxide. So in this part here, we are done. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.